Back to business then. It's about a workout. So 20 seconds work with 10 seconds rest. You're going to be using two exercises. So in three, two, one, let's go. So first exercise, you do a deadlift into an upright row. Ensure when you're doing the deadlift that you squeeze the glutes together, lock the hips out as you're coming up like so. So make sure as well, as you come up and that weight's transferred through the core, the elbows come up to pinch the ears and you're attracting the scapula. So I'll place that down there and I'll get the kettlebell ready for the goblet squat push press. Two, one, go! So we squat down, again, extend the hips, lock the glutes out and then we're into the push press. So pick a weight that's applicable, but not one that's too heavy for you to do flowing reps with good form, but a weight that's equally within a couple of sets is going to get your heart rate up like so. So place the kettlebell down. It's great coaching as well while you're doing a um, fitness workout because it makes you breathe that little bit heavier. So, like I said, all the coaching points, so make sure you're locking the glutes out and extending at the hips, yeah? So breaking down two movements there. So we're now doing this as the shoulder press along. So it's two movement patterns broken down in half there. Round one complete. So we're going to do the full movements both, then we're going to break them in half. So onto the deadlift again, or full movement, and it's a full body movement which gets you out of breath as well. So from the side, as you can see, Squeeze the glutes, lock the hips out, pinch the ears with the elbows, retract the scapula. Face down, goblet squat. Like I said, squeeze the glutes, lock the hips out, transfer that pressure through the core. Now we break the movements in half again. You can do all eight rounds as a full movement. If you want it to be more cardio based, breaking it down into cardio slash strength based, you break it in half like this. So it's one for the legs, one for the upper body. Of course, if you want to break it down more, and do it the other way around. You can do the upright row for a few. And obviously, do the squat as your leg compound, yeah? So I'll do that on this last one. Do sort of 10 seconds of the shoulder press and 10 seconds on the leg. What that creates as well, when you mix things up like this, is muscle confusion. So your body's not getting used to a pattern. So oh, there's your Tabata workout with kettlebell. Just another of many Tabata workouts you can do. Great system, 20 second rest, one third recovery for 10 seconds rest. It's a great way to utilize a minute in it. So it's 40 seconds every 20 seconds rest. So thanks for watching guys.